Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with the Our Holistic Killer. I'm back with another prophetic message. I'm just going to try to get this in real quick. I am out running some errands. Just came from the grocery store real quick. So, excuse the stuff in the background. But anyway, so I just want to tell you guys, just keep in mind, I believe that this energy is possibly happening now. Or again, as I said, if you're new to my channel before, welcome. Um... If you're not and you know as I always say either this energy could be happening this week or it could be happening um, within a couple of weeks or within the near future so with all that being said let me just get right in to the uh, quick message so the message that I received last night was um, I'm gonna just briefly show it to you how it was shown to me in a dream so it was as if I was standing somewhere and imagine like these little booster seats where you add them to the chairs and you, I guess, yeah, just the booster seat, not, not the ones that stand up on the long, tall legs, but the ones that you add to the chairs to, uh, cause the kids to, to be able to sit up higher. So anyway, forgive me y'all. Cause my kids are much older. <laughs> so anyway, with all that being said, so, um, it was a booster seat. I saw as if there was like five booster seats kind of sitting like, I kind of got a feeling like they was just sitting, I don't know if I want to say on the floor, but they were sitting down a little lower. I felt like they were on the floor, but they wasn't too far on the floor. So just imagine that it has like, let me just say the way that the kids were sitting, it was as if they were sitting up high, like maybe about towards my knees, up maybe that high or whatever in the little booster seats. So there was something obviously underneath them, but they weren't very, you know, not like the ones like at IHOP or something like that that sits up very tall. I don't know what they have now. I haven't even eaten at IHOP in a minute. But anyway, so with that being said, I saw as if it was like five kids that was sitting kind of like half of a moon shape like and I was standing in front of them and they all seem to be like male type energies like male boys um and then it was so funny because I actually my dog was near the kids as well too and I remember I was feeding her something but prior to me feeding her something I remember telling each and every one of the boys I was like mm, I love you 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 I said it to all five of the boys um, but it was between four or five. And then I even said it to my dog as well, too. So I remember telling her, or telling her that as well, too. But I felt like she was the only girl that was there because I knew she was a, you know, because my dog is a girl. Um, but anyway, she was there along with the male. So I was standing there telling the kids that I love them. And the kids were like, I kind of got a feeling like they were young kids, probably somewhere about the age of maybe... They were young boys, somewhere between maybe a, maybe like a year old to maybe two years of old. So, um, the message that I received, and then not only that, but I had, I remember giving my dog some food, but apparently when I gave it to her, it wasn't that hot. But apparently when she ate it, it seemed like it was more hotter than what it was when I was holding it in my hand. And she ate half of what it was. And then she dropped the other half out of her mouth because it was so hot. Well, the message that I had gotten from this um, prophetic message was there are some males probably in your life who uh, may seem very immature to you. <sighs> yes. And I know if you're somebody who's like me and you don't really care for all the immaturity, immatureness, in, immatureness, um, yeah, if you don't really care for all the immatureness, um, I saw that there was a bunch of males in your life or just people in general that maybe somehow you may be connected to, tied to, but they may have a very immature mentality and you have to just try to chalk it up to obviously a situation that maybe they had to deal with in their childhood. So that was the reason why I saw the kids were between the ages of maybe like one and two sitting in these booster seats. And I was just telling them that I love them because it was almost as, as if these kids were, I was seeing them in childlike form, but I got a feeling like in reality, they're actually adults, but they kind of got like a mentality of a mindset of an immature type child with the way that they behave so with all that being said um 
and me telling the kids that I love them. It was just a matter of just telling. So what I'm trying to say is, without confusing anybody and not confusing, confusing myself. So some of you may have some people in your life who are very immature. They're very immature in their their thought process, their mind, probably body, soul, and spirit, however you want to say it. But I'm not going to necessarily say their spirit because I truly believe their spirit and their soul allows them to experience certain things that causes them to mature and puts them in certain situations to, um, to grow and to be more mature. But anyway, so with all that being said, I know that some of you probably have some people within your life from what I'm seeing is, and they're very immature. So the advice that I gotten this morning is wish them love because me telling each one of the kids that I love them, um, wish them love no matter what it is that they do and just release them and allow them to learn their soul lessons for whatever lessons it is that they need to learn in the process. Because obviously, um, I know sometimes we tend to want to help people and sometimes the way people have to learn their mistakes is just through trial and error. And me seeing my dog actually eating on something hot and then she spitting it out because it was too hot. So you have to realize that these people are saying things to you that are very immature and childlike and you know that it kind of irritates you, triggers you, gets underneath your skin. You know, again, wish these people love, send them on their merry way and let them go let them go you know if they were meant to be in your life later down the road they will mature up and be more so on your level so again wish them love let them go and just send them on their way that was the message that i received and just show them grace you telling them that you love them is you just extending the same grace that god wants you that you want God to give you so again let them go give them the grace tell them that you love them release them and let God deal with them because sometimes a child has to be burnt and I, I saw that with the dog when she ate something that was very hot and she spit it out sometimes they have to taste stuff and this is just symbolic so I'm not literally saying taste stuff but just like a kid sometimes you have to taste stuff and you realize it's sour sometimes you have to put your hand on a fire and you realize the shit is hot sometimes you have to learn certain lessons in order for you to you know grow up so again just just release those people save yourself some drama and just release those people let them go let them learn whatever soul lessons that they need to learn in the process so with all that being said i'm wishing you all much love and i'm wishing you much light and peace on your journey and stay blessed. Bye.